Magnum Chronicles, A Brief History of the Time of Isis. I'm not sure exactly the publication of this. It's number one. I picked it up six weeks ago at Magnum. I would presume it's, the, it's, it's, it's at least four or five months old. I don't exactly have a, a publication time, and to be honest, I've not really looked. It says here January 18, copyright 2018. There's no, no actual date. There, there may be somewhere, I just haven't really digested that. What is it? This is, I think it's a nice platform for Magnum to use that archive, to use current projects, to deliver a questionable story, to deliver a showcase of their broad section of work from, from their past photographers to their current photographers. I think it, it just gives an excuse really to open up a dialogue and, and a discussion and an insight and educate and that's what it's about and I, I, I really like this and the size of it is a little bit bigger than a zine it's seven by ten I don't even know how many pages it is I, I would guess 60 70 ish it's free which is the main thing you can pick it up from the Tate foils autograph photographers gallery Magnum London Magnum Paris as a list a massive list go onto the Magnum website and search for Magnum Chronicles so, you will notice that it's in English here, and I, I presume this is Arabic, and if you start at the back here, like this, it starts off in Arabic. And maybe it goes this way, this is a Kudelka shop, and it goes right to the end, and you can go the English version, you can take it from the curator's note right through to the finishing part, which would be in Arabic. So, Peter Van Agmal, I do apologise if I haven't pronounced that right, Peter. He's a curator, and what's special about these things, these little books, is that one of the photographers at Magnum curates this, and this is Peter's turn. Number one, something he knows a bit about, with the, if you look at Peter's work, and you can see that it, it's connected with the US Army and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm being brief. So, who's in this? Well, it starts, I think, with a Inj Moraf picture in 1956, George Roger in the 60s, I guess depicting the Middle East, depicting the areas, right through to current work about 2016, something like that. And, and here's the curator's note from Peter, and it has been the sort of timeline essay and stuff like that by Peter Harden, who's an expert in the Middle East, I think formerly of the International Crisis Group and founder of Schnapps. Uh, here's a thank you. The design is Yolanda Kumo Design, New York City, a bit from the newspaper club. So that's two young ISIS fighters by Lorenzo Meloni and this is Moises Saman. This is a shot of, what is that shot? The man walking along a desert in the town of Haliha, Edorax, Arba Province. It's really small print. The man that never took Romani, the displaced ISIS. Oh, it was, this was a displaced person when ISIS arrived in the city of um, Ramadi. Okay. Like I said, I'm just opening this. It's fresh to me, and I'm just sort of picking everything up as I go along here. So, standard format is a timeline, which I think is Peter Harding's work. Now, what's interesting is that we move throughout this book into a landscape format. And let me just check to see if there's any verticals put in here. I'm not sure, just on the first glance, that there is verticals in here. And it seems by the cover, I guess that the cover is horizontal as well. Which, interesting, lends itself to the whole design of the book. So, could we have done the whole print out like that, rather than coming out like that? Who knows? So, here is the Inge Baraf shop, 1956 in Syria. I guess it's sort of establishing the peace and tranquility. Let's just bring this down. Okay. It's really lovely quality. This is George Roger, um, this is Damascus, Syria, 1956, and here's another shot of Syria, and this is um, the ruins of Palmyra. Now, I think this caused a bit of controversy, didn't it, with ISIS in the last few years. Look at that, 
95. It's not beautiful. How are you going? Yeah. Look at that. Let's bring this down a bit more. Just give it a bit of time to focus. It's not beautiful. Syria Hammer. Look at the colours. That is just superb. What a shot. Alex Margie. Oh, Alex Mayo. Excuse me, my pronunciations are all over the place. And it's a little bit in Arabic there, sort of there. And then it's the English version. A shot I know well. We've analysed this a lot. This is a Larry Tal shot of 9-11. We do, I do a lot of this. I used to analyse this a lot with the students. And we would just sort of think about that decisive moment and we were trying to build a narrative up to pictures and thinking, I'd get my students to think, what is it saying? What do you think it is? You've got to remember some of these students are only 16, 17, so it's a little bit before their time, 9-11. And, but then I sort of, we try to, we look at it objectively, subjectively, and then we try to think about that this is a moment in his life, where did he go 10 minutes after that and where did, where, how did he get 10 minutes into that shot and where was he before? And we're trying to make a visual timeline using other pictures of how we maybe ended there. It's an interesting concept, it's about narrative, it's about being objective and subjective and learning and contextual references and stuff. I find it's a fascinating shot because you could read into it a million ways, you know, like you could be looking though he's reading a piece of manuscript or he's just reading a book or is he shell-shocked or is he is he having a nose at all the confidential papers which have dropped so we you know it's it's it, it's a great shot as is this shot here by Bruno Barbie and that was in 91 I would think this is when Saddam and his soldiers set fire to the oil wells in Kuwait You should go and pick this up. You just, I think you can get it f with by paying the postage of about two pound if you go onto the web the website, and you can have it sent to you. It's definitely worth a look. It's limited edition, well, so it's not, it's not going to be around forever. Syria, Damascus. And now we're in two thousand and three. And this is um, 2005, Abu Ghraib prison abuses on TV. And this is the control support hospital in Baghdad. The only thing is this, the writing's really small. So if you need glasses like me to read the small print, then it's quite tricky because I'm focusing on the pictures and that. So I'm just stuttering a little bit. So. Now we've got some more, icon we've got some like iconic symbols. This is definitely Martin Parr, isn't it? It has to be, yeah. Martin Parr Collection, 2004. Born in Hell, Osma, Chile. And let's go to, let's get, go get the Butcher of Baghdad, okay. Now, I wonder if this is the essay by Peter Harding. I, I presume it is. I presume that is, and that's some words. And then, there's a lovely picture. A Yazidi woman combing her hair, isn't that amazing? In fact, I can't really, let's bring that out. It's a great shot, it's actually a lovely change of format. It's quite tricky to put on it, it's so, such a big shot. And this is, uh, Moses Saman, or, or Moses Saman, I'm, Moses Saman, I do apologise again if I've got the pronunciation wrong. And this is in Kurdistan, Iraq. A Yazidi woman combs her hair. And this is in Syria. In Syria, all of these are sort of shots in Syria. I'll bring it down a little bit more. Just give it a bit of time to focus. Got a very 
I don't know if that's the quality of the print, but it's it's got this lovely, almost like a pinhole camera effect to it. Lorenzo Maloney. Look at that. Alex Marge. That's amazing. I just wonder if I'd best to show you what's coming out on this side. And it's quite awkward to move around. And this is a Magnum Chronicles, a unique perspective. If you would like, each newspaper would be curated by a different Magnum photographer, showcasing the breadth and depth of Magnum's archive. So we've gone from up to date stuff with Nusha's work here to Inge Moraf, George Roger of the 50s and 60s. If you'd like to be informed about up and coming issues of Magnum Chronicles and receive regular updates, sign these links. I've got a few of them. I'll put the link to that in the information box. So, what I'm going to do, there's a lot more writing in this, there's a lot more, there's quotes here. So, let's just jump there. There's, there's, there's some quotes, and it sort of has a break from that. And so, I'm just going to run it from this base here, because I think you should go out and get this if you can. Next time I'll pick up a few, so I'll offer them out to people. Where's the salmon? That's nice. Alexandra Sanguinetti, France, Nice, the promenade. I think that's where that truck, that was the sort of suicide guy, wasn't it? The, 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 the terrorist attack in Nice. So at the top here, we've got more dialogue. It's a nice swap around, you know, from former. I really do like this is nicely done, actually. So it's got some lovely design into it. This is one of Peter's shots. It's Iraq 2017, a man badly injured by shrapnel in the eyes at Mosul. Wow. Again, it's, it's, it's when it turns out like it's on this full fold, it's 10 by 14, so it's it's pretty big, you know. If you... And what we've got here, we've got power again, looking at the... you got... Headlines. And then, I think here you've got a sort of romantic look at immigrants coming in. Um, through Europe, and that's the Aegean Sea, I presume, where in Greece and Lesbos, and that's the sort of, I guess, the tension of the water and and what the people landing on Greece are up against. Hair curtains, beard trimmings from IS fighters who shaved before fleeing. Okay, a position in Syria in 2016 so they cut off the beards and make them fit into an ordinary they're making them look sort of like everyday citizens and stuff like that a soldier from a third regime is executed by isis in a turn oh uh, wow he's just about to be headed and people are videoing that that's incredible i mean osman well, I guess that's, as it's happening, there's a bit of blood there. Cranky. You just don't know what you think, do you? Well, there's a shot here of a dead ISIS fighter, but I'm not going to show it. This is France. This is in Paris. Oh, there's after Paris attacks. That's Mark Parra. More dialogue at the top and refugee camp i think that's the flooring isn't it yeah uh, play mat yeah it's a lovely interesting but right, then we're at the end and we are now coming towards the end we've got a, a joseph kudelka um at the palmaria site and we've got more i presume par watches and interesting paraphernalia. And what can I say? I can say that I think it's a great idea. It's beautifully designed, it's lovely to feel. 
it, it's just it oozes quality. I think the reproduction's fantastic. Get out and find it, have it in your collection, learn from it. You know, it, it's, it's, it's educational, it's important, it's interesting. Get out and get it. I'll put the links so you can try and get it. If I can find any more, I'll grab a few and offer them out as freebies. Please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to Instagram and get on our Twitter account and help support us. And we're slowly getting there. We're growing and growing and growing each week. Thank you very much for your support.